Juju ordered her servant to check the background of the participant in the wheelchair and stated that if it felt like his life was in threat or he would get hurt, he should go and ask the referee to save and treat him as soon as possible, no matter what happened. Juzi wondered that why Yu Hao was in that state and what had happened to him. She remembered that he was fine the last time she had seen him. As the match started, the opponent came running towards Yu Hao. Everyone in the audience was scared that he was going to be crushed like a meat and were not able to watch that scene. They all found it very terrible. But Yu Hao had kept his eyes closed and Snow Empress had come beside him. He pointed his finger towards his opponent and she completely froze before reaching to him. Everyone was shocked by looking at that and wondered how that happened. He asked Snow if she could help throwing him away. She exactly did what Yu Hao had asked her to do. His opponent called him cruel, that how could he let such a cute little girl fight for him in a match, and wasn't he afraid that she might have gotten hurt? Yu Hao thanked him for reminding, and he would ask her to be more careful next time, and called him a good person. The opponent started crying and requested not to call him a good person. And just like that, Tang Sex Huo Yu Hao had won the match. The second participant was Feng Jue from the Earth Dragon sect. He was different from the previous guy. He was very fast. As he entered the arena, he saw that Snow was carrying a huge block of ice, which was three meters high with ease. He found that terrifying, but told her not to cry when he would beat her up. He was frozen inside that block in the matter of seconds. Then the third participant came up. He thought that he was not as stupid as those two and had seen all the tricks of Snow Empress. He was sure that the victory was his that time. He was definitely different. He started rushing in as soon as the match started, but Snow froze him too. Yu Hao won the match again. Everyone called her a scary little girl and talked amongst themselves that who had said before that Yu Hao couldn't win. They also commented that Yu Hao was so strong, no wonder he dared to come to the tournament in a wheelchair. Yu Hao had won three matches in a row. Someone questioned that what was up with the Earth Dragon sect as they couldn't even beat a cripple. They had never seen someone as skillful as Yu Hao. His next opponent was Nan Chu Chu. Snow greeted her politely and in response she said that she knew what she was. She further said that Snow was his martial soul, so she was not planning to be merciful like the rest of her teammates. Juju found that very interesting, and mentioned that she must be the captain of the Earth Dragon sect. Juzi nodded in agreement and told her that she was the strongest person in her team. She questioned Juzi that who she thought would win that match, but Juzi couldn't guess. Juju disclosed that they both used to study together, so she must know how powerful Yu Hao was. She responded that Ya Hao and she had studied together for less than a month, and it was long before SS she didn't remember much. She only knew that he was a four-ring soul master back then. Looking at him in a wheelchair, she had no idea whether he improved or degraded in the past two years. That's why she decided not to make a rash judgment. They could only wait and see for themselves. The guy sitting in front of Juju addressed her as respectfully and requested her that she must not let Yu Hao grow any further after that tournament, and they must eliminate him at all cost. She responded that how could such a small person as he get the hall master so interested? Someone else from the audience commented that Yu Hao was from the Shrek Academy and was also the champion of the last tournament. He further stated that he had twin martial soul. One was body type and other was the ice type. And his ice type martial soul was a very rare one. And that was the absolute ice. Being able to continuously participate two times in a row showed how his growth potential and fighting spirit was. He also mentioned that while on the way back to Shrek Academy last time, he was able to slip away from Senior Long's chase. The other person got curious that what kind of power he had that helped him escape the senior long's chase. There was a person in the audience with hood on his head and mask on his face. He commented that Yu Hao just made a gamble that had an extremely small probability, and he must have used that to escape. The match had started, and Chiu Chu made her first move and attacked Yu Hao very fast. He saw his hand, and noticed that his absolute ice had started to melt. The attack was very warm, but he was sure that there was no way it was absolute fire. But then he remembered that among the classes that thought about the kinds of martial soul in the inner court, there was a lesson which mentioned unique and special martial souls. He wondered that the ability of hers was probably neutralization, as its destruction had the ability to remove the elemental attributes. If that was the case, then her martial soul was that rare martial soul. And it must be the Rouge Dragon Martial Soul, one of the subspecies of the Dragon Martial Souls. Yu Hao found the situation very bad. She attacked him again, and he asked Little Snow to be careful, and she got succeeded in avoiding the attack. Chu Chu attacked him back with the spiritual shock. She was trying to change to close combat after that. She used the hand annihilation skill that was very rare and shocked Yu Hao. In that, her hand took the form of an eagle's paw and became big enough to catch Snow Empress from far away. Yu Hao's hand had started to disappear, and Chu Chu announced her victory. But right after that moment, her hand started to disappear too. Yu Hao looked at her with a smirk. Chu Chu was confused of what just happened as she didn't see it clearly, and her energy was also not coming back. 
She thought for sure that she was winning. It meant that her soul skills failed, but she had no idea how that happened. But it was not a problem for her. She considered her victory as little snow Yu Hao summoned was also disappeared. Yu Hao appreciated that her skill was very powerful. She responded that his summon was also very powerful, and it matched evenly with her hand of annihilation. She further added to it that with her gone, he should give up and accept his defeat. He tried to blackmail her by saying that if she was going to hurt a person who was already crippled, she questioned him if he was sure he was an ordinary disabled person. He should not think that the match was ended just like that as she was going to beat him up real good. He stated her if she was not ashamed to go to the extent of beating a disabled person, but she was not going to waste her time anymore, and said that even though his summon was strong then, his energy consumption must have been great too. Even if he wanted to recover his energy, it was not something he was able to do in a short period of time. His trick meant nothing at all to her. He posed her a question if her destructive ability wasn't the only thing holding him back, but he was sure he could beat her up and win, and she should not think that he was going to lose that easily as he still had his trump card. The more scared he got in front of her, the happier she was getting. Torturing him mentally made her feel excited. She asked if he was saying he would win, but what was he going to do if he had lost? She considered his skillful summon and offered him to join her Earth Dragon sect if he lost from her as she had never heard of that unknown Tang sect he was currently in. He demanded her that if she lose, would she join their Tang sect? She agreed with him and commented that if even a disabled person like him could beat her up, then Tang sect was truly a powerful sect, and she would have no objection in joining his sect. She then wanted to just wrap up the match. She attacked him back with her hand annihilation skill and said that joining her sect was a blessing to him, but as soon as he raised his hand, his absolute ice was enabled which froze her in a giant block of ice. There was a sudden silence in the arena. Yu Hao announced his victory to the referee. It was the fourth match Yu Hao had won in a row. Chu Chu was not accepting her defeat and started to argue with the referee. He told her that the match was already over, and she had lost, so she should go back down, and if she wanted to fight with him that much, she should wait until the team match. He also questioned her would she be standing there if Yu Hao had intended to kill her. She had lost, so according to her deal with Yu Hao, he welcomed her to the Tang sect, and told her that if she would learn secret techniques from their Tang sect, her hand annihilation skill would definitely improve. She responded in anger that he was going to die soon anyways, so she would not find the need to keep the promise then. Yu Hao thought of her as a stubborn girl, and assumed that if Dong Er was with him, she would have definitely joined as Dong Er's appearance could, after all, attract both men and women. Chiu Chu ordered that she would marry the person who was capable of killing Yu Hao. The fifth match was started. The opponent who came against Yu Hao yelled at him that he was going to kill him as he had made his big sister angry. The referee disqualified him that he had broken the rule before even beginning the match. The sixth opponent threatened him to smash Yu Hao into pieces, but he also froze in the giant block of ice. The seventh opponent was Xiao Ye. He was also defeated by Yu Hao in a matter of seconds. The Tang sect had won with full points against the Earth Dragon sect. Chu Chu couldn't believe that. She was sure that her team was definitely not weak, especially with Xiao Ye, as he was one of the strongest members of her team. Yu Hao officially welcomed her to the Tang sect, but she refused it and said that he was just cheating the whole time and was going to attack Yu Hao. Dong Er came and stopped her, asking what she thought she was doing. Chiu Chu speculated that Dong Er was a soul emperor and found her very handsome. It turned out that Tang sect was really as strong as Yu Hao had said. She wondered that they had a soul emperor in their team, who had not even appeared yet. She also speculated that the man in the wheelchair was also a soul emperor. If that was true, she was able to accept her defeat but if she had lost, she was bounded to join the Tang sect. She had found Dong Er very handsome, and joining the team didn't seem a bad choice to her because of Dong Er. But she didn't know how to explain that to her mom. Her teammates were confused that why Chu Chu face expressions were changing, and why she still hadn't come down. Dong Er went running to Yu Hao and asked how he was doing. He was fine, but he complained that she was showing off people how handsome she was. She responded that to the extent even captains of other teams were fooled by her. She inquired that why he always get into some situation with beautiful women. He asked her assurance if she knew how he was. She replied that she had known him quite well, and asked him to get down first and talk later on. Chu Chu's mother dared her not to come down, and forbade her from calling her mom, as she had embarrassed her and ruined the Earth Dragon's face. She allowed her to lead the sect, because she believed in her, but at that moment she was very disappointed in her. She tried to explain to her mom that she knew she was wrong, but the Tang sect was very strong, and the man in the wheelchair was a soul emperor. She responded that there was nothing wrong in a soul emperor, and none of the seven of them was able to defeat him. Her mom also claimed that she had not only been defeated, but she was also shouting nonsense that was heard by the whole crowd. She planned to punish her daughter after they would return from there. She would enter a closed-door cultivation for the next year after her punishment. 
She warned her not to even think of leaving if her cultivation had not reached Soul Emperor. Her mom speculated that she was becoming too proud of herself because of her talent and because she was the only heir to the sect. She decided to take advantage of that to discipline her. Otherwise, she couldn't imagine what she would become in the future. She bent on her knees, asked for forgiveness from her mom. But she was not going to change her plan no matter how many times she would ask for forgiveness. Tears were dropping through her eyes down to her cheeks, and she decided that she would not go back with her mom to the sect. Her mother got frustrated that how could she go against her mom who was also her sect master. She accepted that she was wrong and now she had lost from Yuhao. Her mom queried what she was saying. She was shocked listening that she had betted and lost against that disabled man and asked if she was really going to spend the rest of her life with a disabled man even though she might be stronger than him. She disagreed with her mom saying that it was not what she had meant to say. Everyone had gathered around Yuhao and he told them about his bet with Chiu Chiu. One of the members said that she was too innocent for him to manipulate her. Other member agreed with him and added to it that Yu Hao was too cunning when it had come to deceiving others, and Chiu Chiu had just run out of luck. Her mother came to them and asked who the sect master of Tang sect was. Yu Hao questioned her if there was something she needed from them. He recognized that she was Miss Nan Chiu Chiu's mother, and it was too embarrassing to take her own daughter in front of her. She queried if he was Yu Hao as she had heard from Yu Hao about his bet. She then introduced herself that she was Nan Shui Shui the sect master of Earth Dragon sect. She asked him to name a price to buy back her daughter's freedom. Chu Chu objected with her mom that she was not some kind of lifeless object. Yu Hao informed her that their Tang sect was not short on funds, and also that words were a part of one strategy in a match. She stated that even if that was the case, he could just take it as a joke. She told him to name the price, and she was willing to pay it. Her sect was considered a high-ranking sect in dueling empire, but then too, since Chu Chu had lost fairly, she couldn't just take her back by force, and she allowed her to join Tang Sect. But she had two conditions. Yu Hao wondered if she was really going to send her daughter to Tang Sect. Although, he couldn't say no if she really wanted to take her back as it was just a casual bet, but he didn't expect her to take that seriously. He posed her to tell him the conditions. The first condition was that Chu Chu should be put in a trial she had joined the sect for a specific period of time. After the end of that time period, if she had really liked the sect and wanted to stay... She was allowed to do Thart, but if she didn't like it, she would be allowed to return back, and no one was allowed to stop her. The second condition was that Chu Chu was a girl, so they could not force her to do things she didn't want to. If they would promise her to fulfill those two demands, only then she would allow her to leave and join the The Tang sect. Yu Hao found those two conditions very easy, and couldn't even consider one in the first place. He asked her mother the length of the time period of her daughter's trial. She demanded three years and said that if he could make her into a soul emperor by then, he could extend it by another two years. Yu Hao agreed with her that it was not a problem at all. There was going to be a storm of changes in the next few years in the continent. It used to take a long time to produce and develop a good talent. They could also save some time that way as she was already very talented. Her mother decided to leave her in Tang Sek's care. She further added that as long as it was not intentional, he could be a little strict with her as she had spoiled her too much and she had to repent for her mistakes. She also inquired that where was Tang sect located. She would visit sometime later after the tournament. He responded that their sect was located in the Shrek city, and she could easily find them there. She talked to Chu Chu that from further on, she was a member of Tang sect for the next five years. And when the next tournament would start, she was allowed to decide whether she could go back or not. It was up to her by then. She asked her mom with a heavy heart if she was dumping her, and if she had become meaningless to her as five years were quite long. Donger disguised as Wang Dong explained to her that Tang Sect was not a bad place to stay and offered her a hand. She also said that they would always welcome her arrival. Chu Chu was mesmerized from her beauty that how handsome she was. They both sat down on a bench and had a conversation in which Chu Chu asked Dong Er a few questions. Some of them were that where was she going to stay in Tang Sect? What method Yu Hao had used to win against Earth Dragon Sect in the previous tournament? She found Dong Er very handsome, but inquired that was her shoulder a bit narrow, and her feet were also not too big so she asked her the size of the shoes she was wearing. It looked like that Donger had made a mistake again as Chu Chu was too hyperactive. She asked her if she was feeling sick and if she could check what was wrong with her. The next match was in between the Holy Spirit Cult and Heavenly Capital Academy. Yu Hao inquired if Holy Spirit Cult were actually participating. He saw that even though the participant from that sect only had five rings, but the cold aurora was emitting from his body.